Hey everybody. Uh, I went on uh, a couple of ads and I seen someone giving away a free compressor. And the uh, gentleman told me that it was an old compressor. And that's the motor off of it. And I can't really describe how big it is, but I'll give you an idea that it, it probably at least weighs 100 pounds. And the compressor itself, I couldn't take the compressor as in the tank and everything else, but I got the motor and the compressor itself, which is, well, that tire behind there is about 28 inches tall, and it's on a, you know, it's on at least a 4 inch pallet, so this thing was dated, I found a tag on it, it was dated back in 1931, and it still worked. The guy had it running when I was uh, coming to go get it, and he said it was probably going to be too heavy for us to move, so he was nice enough to take this compressor off and, um, you know, remove it, and I was able to stick it in my, stick it in my truck, so, but the motor on this thing is a one and a half horsepower general electric repulsion induction motor. Let me see if I can do the macro on it. And it's a one and a half horsepower. It pulls almost 15 amps at 110 volts or seven and a half at 220. So and it has all the nice little dual fills on it and I think it has a ring oiler on the front and the back. Basically it's like a little bath in the back. You fill it up and it uh as it spins it just oils it. But this thing, I think the brushes are worn out. Now I'm having a hard time finding brushes for it, so anybody have an idea where I can get brushes for something made back in nineteen thirty please let me know because I really would like to get this thing working. I'd like to put this and the uh, this compressor back on a tank which I think would be pretty cool. I'm not going to stick my fingers in there but I'm just going to turn it. But It still turns easy and the weird thing is it pulls air from here goes through the head and then you know obviously the piston goes up and down and then it comes back up around and down to the bottom of the crank into like an oil pan or you know part of it and then it comes all the way through and it blows out this end so I'm guessing they used the oil that was inside the compressor to help cool the the charge before it goes into the tank but anyway I figured I'd just show you all and uh, anybody got an idea of what kind of compressor that thing is besides you know something that should be in the friggin Smithsonian let me know and the uh, anybody know where I can get brushes for a 1931 and I'm pretty sure it's a 1931 because and put on macro you can see it right there well that's a 3-1 it says a, I think an 8 of 31 so anyway you know anybody has got some brushes or can cut brushes for it I'm interested in it I'm not going to spend $700 on you know getting it overhauled it works just fine it just arcs really bad so anyhow let me know, and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. See ya.